Bloom and Grow YouTube show. So what about glam? You mentioned this style to me. It's not something I'm actually very familiar with. Talk to me about glam. Glam is glamorous, right? Mm -hmm. So it used to be known as Hollywood Regency, but when you think old Hollywood, then you're thinking glam. We're thinking mirrored furniture. We're thinking crystals. We're thinking shimmer sequins, you know, white, silver. Again, it doesn't feel very natural, right? But it feels very luxe. Okay. It's dazzling, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes, I mean, I hate to genderfy these styles, but it's Mm -hmm. usually pretty feminine. Okay. Right. When we think about like that amazing vanity table in old Hollywood Mm. with the amazing mirror and the shimmering crystal chandelier, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about minimal color, Mm -hmm. but the colors that are there are typically pretty warm and opulent, rich reds, burgundies, magentas, or like a deep navy. Mm -hmm. Right but definitely rich, deep tones mm-hmm. or pastel pinks, right? Soft kind of warm colors. Oh, I love that. Um, I'm trying to think about what matchmaking for glam would be for me that what already comes to mind is like gold planters. Like I'm like, Oh, I feel like glam is all about the planters or pops of something. Um, one thought that came to mind is Hoya because Hoya is a genus. Number one, the leaves are really beautiful. They can be compact plants that grow um, very lush. You can trellis them. You can have them as trailing plants, but they, they, many of them have unbelievable flowers that are scented. Um, they feel luxurious. They're also like the hot plant right now. So that kind of makes me think if it's like luxurious, like that's kind of where everybody's going. Um mm but they are called the wax plant because their flowers are so beautiful. They look like they're cut out of wax and many of them are light pink actually. So, um, that could kind of be interesting glam. I feel like also you could have some pretty epic staked in plants within a glam bedroom or a glam living room. Well, and when I think glam, I mean, I don't know how this coincides with plants, but I think like roses so many cut roses in a crystal vase oh okay so cut flowers we can say yes. cut flowers absolutely okay, we can say that can we say that i'm not absolutely growing? also maybe if you're if you have a glam interior house maybe you want to grow some roses in your front yard so you can always be cutting or peonies you know so you oh, can yes, be cutting and yeah and always having i bet cut flower gardeners who like to grow their own flowers would love a glam interior that they can always have, you know, beautiful vases that they're swapping out. Definitely. And I think the challenging part of this style for me, you know, I own affordable interior design, right? And this needs to cost some money or else it looks a little bit cheap. Right. right. So think of cheap mirrored furniture that you can kind of see the seams. It's not right. quite touching. You can see the wood underneath. You really have to pony up Mm -hmm. in terms of spending money so that it looks authentically luxe versus having plastic crystals, things like that. Yeah. Plastic crystals. Yikes. (laughs) Um, yeah. So maybe that's another thing where it's like you invest in a couple of pieces and then kind of let the rest of it be neutral and kind of speak for itself. That's interesting. Boom and grow.